you may already know about engine oils. Let's understand its different types and what is this H2O core which is actually used in jet engines. Let's understand in this video. Let's start with mineral oils. This is your basic engine oil which is made from crude oil since it is actually directly extracted from crude oil. This will be the cheapest one to buy and it is easily available in all automotive stores. And this is one of the ideal oil for everyday city riding. But it breaks down very fast due to the heat produced by your engine and cannot withstand high temperatures and pressures. So because of all these factors, you might have to change this every once 2000 to 3000 kilometers. But this is ideal for all the commuter bikes and manufacturer recommend mineral oil considering the service cost to be in check. Whereas in other end of the spectrum, we have fully synthetic oil. And this one is not extracted directly from crude oil, but synthetically produced in laboratories. This is considered to be one of the most advanced type oils and it is made using chemical engineering to give the engine top level protection even in higher RPMs. These can also withstand high heat produced by your engine. Along with all these wear and tear properties, it also has detergents to clean your engine making sure that it is free from sludge buildup. And the best part is, these type of oils can withstand more than 6 to 10,000 kilometers depending on the brand that you purchase. Now in between both the mineral and fully synthetic, we have something called a semi-synthetic. This is also called a synthetic blend. This mixes mineral oil with synthetic oil. In order to get a better performance than mineral oil and also to keep the cost in check. Due to this, it lasts around 4 to 5,000 kilometers, but also performs decently better than mineral oil. Now, all this what I explained is not too technical and this is pretty easy to understand for a layman. Now comes the part where we speak about ester cores. Now, if you are into hardcore riding or even if you're so much into track focus, the ester core oils, also known as factory line oils or racing oils, is a type of fully synthetic oil which is created through advanced chemical engineering. Unlike like regular oils, esters have polar molecule structure which means they naturally attract to metal surface. So even when your engine is off, ester oil sticks to the metal parts, offering instant lubrication when you start your engine again. Now these are all the benefit of an ester core engine oil. However, what is this ester after all? Technically speaking, esters are created through a chemical reaction between an acid and an alcohol. This process makes man-made oil with special properties that are not found in regular oils. They belong to something called as Group V based oils, the most advanced category in any engine oil out in the world. And what makes this ester special? The first one, as I already explained, it has polar molecules, which means it gives better protection. The second one, it has extreme temperature resistance. Esters are very stable under high heat. Next, reduce friction. Ester molecules are smooth and helps reduce metal to metal contact. And naturally, Ester core oils has the ability to clean the internal surface of the engine much better than any other mineral or semi-synthetic oil. All these are the positive terms of ester core oils. However, speaking on the downsides, this is one of the most expensive oil to buy and it may not be necessary for normal commuter bikes. Now, which oil should you consider? I'm not promoting any brand here. However, I'll leave a chart table for your understanding to make your own decision. Now, if you have a small commuter bike and is on a tight budget, consider using mineral oil. If you're using a bike for a daily use and if you want the maximum performance out there, considering using a semi-synthetic oil will be a better option. Now, if you're more towards sporty or touring, fully synthetic oil will be the best choice to make. Now, if you want to extract the maximum performance out of your motorcycle and want the maximum engine protection, consider using ester core oil. So, what's your pick? Are you all about performance, balance or budget? Let me know in the comment section. And as usual, if you found this video informative enough, do consider subscribing to Archeonics and follow me on Instagram for more such interesting content.